Social programs in Canada include all government programs designed to give assistance to citizens outside what the market provides. The Canadian Social Safety Net covers a broad spectrum of programs, and because Canada is a federation, many are run by the provinces. Canada has a wide range of government transfer payments to individuals, which totaled $176.6 billion in 2009. Only social programs that direct funds to individuals are included in that cost. Programs such as Medicare and public education are additional costs. Topic Usage In Canada, the entirety of the social provisions of government are called social programs, French programmes sociaux, rather than social welfare, as in European and British usage. Welfare in Canada, like in the United States, colloquially refers to direct payments to low-income individuals only, and not to healthcare and education spending. It is rarely used as the name of any specific program, however, because of its negative connotations, in French it is commonly known as le bien être social. In slang, welfare is also sometimes referred to as the dole slang, as in British usage. History Generally speaking before the Great Depression most social services were provided by religious charities and other private groups. Changing government policy between the 1930s and 1960s saw the emergence of a welfare state, similar to many Western European countries. Most programs from that era are still in use, although many were scaled back during the 1990s as government priorities shifted towards reducing budget deficits that were reaching levels deemed too high. Healthcare All provinces in Canada provide universal, publicly funded healthcare to Canadian citizens, permanent residents and certain temporary residents, with their costs partially subsidized by the federal government. Approximately 70% of expenditures for healthcare in Canada come from public sources, with the rest paid privately both through private insurance, and through out-of-pocket payments. The extent of public financing varies considerably across services. For example, approximately 99% of physician services, and 90% of hospital care, are paid by publicly funded sources, whereas almost all dental care and most prescription drug costs are paid for privately. Most physicians are self-employed private entities which enjoy coverage under each province's respective healthcare plans. Compared to other single-payer health systems in the world, Canada is unusual in banning the purchase of private insurance or care for any services that are listed. This is meant to prevent what is described as two-tier healthcare, which would allow the rich to jump the queue. However, in 2005 the Supreme Court of Canada ruled in Chairley v. Quebec Attorney General that the ban on private care could be unconstitutional if it caused unreasonable delays for patients. Education <inaudible> 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 In Canada, provinces and territories are responsible for their elementary and secondary schools. Education is compulsory up to the age of 16 in most provinces, 17 and 18 in others. Both elementary and secondary education is provided at a nominal cost. Private education is available, but its comparatively high costs and the relative quality of public education result in it being less popular than in the United States or Britain. Post-secondary schooling is not free, but is subsidized by the federal and provincial governments. Financial assistance is available through student loans and bursaries. Topic. Housing Canadian mortgages are insured by the Federal Canadian Mortgage and Housing Corporation and most provinces have ministries in charge of regulating the housing market. It was created in the 1940s and in Quebec in 1958. Unemployment benefits Low-income support All provinces maintain a program of this sort known by names such as social assistance, income support, income assistance, and welfare assistance. Popularly they are known as welfare. The purpose of these programs is to alleviate extreme poverty by providing a monthly payment to people with little or no income. The rules for eligibility and the amount given vary widely between the provinces. The welfare program for low-income families exists in all provinces. It was created in the 1940s and in Quebec in 1958. The original plan was for Ottawa to pay half of the financial support for 
families and the other half paid by each of the provinces. Topic: <inaudible> Seniors. Most Canadian seniors are eligible for old age security, a taxable monthly social security payment. In addition, most former workers can receive Canada Pension Plan or Quebec Pension Plan benefits based on their contributions during their careers. As well many people have a private pension through their employer, although that is becoming less common, and many people take advantage of a government tax shelter for investments called a registered retirement savings plan or may save money privately. <laughs> Regional aid The government has several agencies dedicated to developing specific regions. Canadian Northern Economic Development Agency Atlantic Canada Opportunities Agency Economic Development Agency of Canada for the regions of Quebec Federal Economic Development Initiative for Northern Ontario Federal Economic Development Agency for Southern Ontario Western Economic Diversification Canada Topic. Children and families Usually each province has a department or ministry in charge of child welfare and dealing with adoption, foster care, etc. As of 2007 the federal government also offers the universal child care benefit to subsidize the cost of daycare spots or other forms of child care. Topic. Disability The provinces are each responsible for disability welfare. Lash, Jean Veneer Alberta's program is called Assured Income for the Severely Handicapped The Ontario government has the Ontario Disability Support Program which offers income and employment assistance for disabled people and the Assistive Devices Program to provide funding to help pay the cost of assistive devices for people with long-term physical disabilities. See also Matthew Effect Sociology Poverty in Canada Welfare Welfare State Social Safety Net Social Security Social Policy Topic Comparisons Social programs in the United States also Social Security United States Social Security in Australia Italian Welfare State Scandinavian welfare model also Swedish welfare and social security in Sweden Social welfare in New Zealand